In Starlink Battle for Atlas, you'll lead a group of heroic interstellar pilots on a risky mission. Explore the massive star system of Atlas, navigate through its seven planets, and unite their inhabitants against a villainous, destructive force called the Forgotten Legion. Use modular starships to seamlessly mix and match their unique gear and skills on the fly. For this walkthrough, let's choose Mason Rana as a pilot and opt for the highly balanced Zenith for the starship. As for weapons, let's start with the Frost Barrage and the Shredder. Let's jump right away into the action as we play as Mason, member of the Starlink Initiative on his way to Haven, one of the seven planets of the star system. Legion Drakes detected. Hyperdrive disrupted. But on our way, we come across an outlaw being chased by members of the Legion. Usually outlaws are not on our side, but an enemy of the Legion is a possible ally. Ah! Getting knocked out of hyperdrive! Wait, those drakes! Are they chasing someone? Sage, open guns. Channel open. Hey, pilot. Looks like you can use a hand. Beat it before I beat you. You sure about that? Uh, what do you know, Snake Brain? Maybe I'm luring Legion into my trap. But so long as you're here, I'll let you take a few pot shots at him. Nice to meet you, too. One down. With the Legion squadron defeated, we can move to our destination, Never. Haven. Man, this place is a freaking danger zone! It's Atlas, kid. Our space has all kinds of loot caches and shipwrecks. And if it's worth picking over, it's worth fighting over. Why else do you think those drakes were after me? Indeed. We expeditions stay within our planetary gravity wells for a reason. Even the prospectors rarely see space these days. See? Even the eggheads got street smarts. It's the way we live, or else we don't. Okay, just made it to Haven. Wow, the view definitely beats the last one. Might be hard to spot your friend, though. Just keep your eye out for an old refinery. Should be near a river. I'll do my best. We jump ahead in time to Eli's refinery. Former bounty hunter extraordinaire Eli has now settled as a prospector and is a potential ally. He tells us about a Legion ship crash site where we could find information about the Legion and who is behind the abduction of St. Grant. Looks like I'm nearing the crash site. That info you want's lodged inside, so you'll need to hack it. Just make sure you stick close by, otherwise that hack will sever. Good luck. Launching data decryption. Unfortunately, our hacking attempts have attracted evil creatures. So let's try to switch our weapons and inflict more damage. To make short work of the enemies, we'll use the orbital strike, Mason's special ability to give a devastating blow to our attackers. Each pilot has their own special ability, so choose wisely. Warning. Legion reinforcements have arrived. That's all of it. The data's a little garbled, but I got a read on that SOS. We're now on our way to the origin of the signal found at the crash site. Wow. What's that in the distance? Ah, uh, that is a warden spire. A relic of a long forgotten era once set to hold valuable treasures to those who dare disturb it. However, they haven't been active for centuries. Still, they do remain well-guarded. 
So you're telling me the Legion army is controlled by an old tower? That's where the signal leads. Hopefully we're about to find out why. Try something else. Huh. We must be doing something wrong. Keep switching up your weapons. Maybe a different combination will work. Hey, I think the Spire's reacting to my weapon. Wonder what a different one would do. We will need two type of weapons to solve this puzzle. An ice weapon and a fire one. Fascinating. I'm reading a very faint power signal. Imagine the data we could collect if we add power to the other spires. For now, let's just grab what's inside and see what we find. My stars. That's advanced Warden technology. A modification once used to specialize their ancient spacecrafts. Cool. I wonder if it will work on my ship. Ah, indeed. I believe it could integrate with our ships quite well. On our way back to the refinery, we witness a prospector, one of the local inhabitants being raided by outlaws. Let's give him a hand. The refinery is under attack! Oh, that's how you do it. Glad you flew on by, pal. Appreciate it. As you can see below our ship, the world is filled with vegetation and wildlife for you to discover. Reporting. Extractor down. Repeat. Extractor down. Take time to scan them to gain experience and exchange this information with an expedition faction to get rewarded with better gear. Partial scan complete. Let's jump ahead in time again, as Eli sends us on a quest to find him an ore processor, in exchange for better gear and information on the Legion. Since we're about to get into a fight with a powerful enemy, let's switch our ship to the Nadir, a less maneuverable but more robust option. This fire giant seems to channel fire to attack us, so we'll opt for cold weaponry to take him down. Each of the weapons are efficient on their own, but it's when you combine them that you can really get devastating results, like the Frost Vortex. No Cyclops. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, those Nova crystals on its back look remarkably hot. You may need to cool it down to have an effect. to their hideout. Your map's been updated. easily dislodged if targeted with heat weaponry.
All right now. The good should be somewhere inside. Wow. This place looks ancient. Okay, I think I've got it. Careful now. Those processors were built to last, but they're heavier than a skitter tusk. You might have a touch of trouble taking flight. Let's get the processor back to Eli, allowing him to upgrade his refinery. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the ticket. Time to upgrade this whole rust bucket. Ain't that a pretty sight? Soon you and me are gonna be up to our eyeballs in Electrum. Everywhere in the star system you will forge alliances by helping local inhabitants and by pushing back the Forgotten Legion. Doing so will give you better gear and information, helping you get one step closer to saving Atlas. This was only a small glimpse of what you can expect to experience in Starlink Battle for Atlas, releasing October 16th.